Ireland is a, is, a, is a beautiful, beautiful island. It's from its oceans to its cliffs to its people. You know, the, the people of Ireland make it beautiful. Irish people have a history of fighting. It's, it's, it's in our DNA to, to fight. It's, it's, it's in our blood. It's my home. Ireland, you know what I mean? It's, it's everything. It's what I represent. It makes me proud to be Irish. A fighting nation, and I, I am very proud to be representing Ireland as a fighter. My name is Peter Queeley, and I am a proud Irish man. Peter, the showstopper Queeley! Hailing from Dublin, Ireland, Peter Queeley made his EFC debut in Cape Town at EFC 35, taking on the highly ranked Francois Kabulu. It was a really tough debut for Peter Queeley. Kabulu was on a five-fight winning streak, beating former champion Michiel Opperman and the current welterweight champion, David Bursky. I didn't know too much about him, but I asked around, and he seemed to be like the boogeyman of uh, the EFC. So when I start saying his name, I got a lot of people coming back saying, you know, that's, that's a tough debut fight. They're not, they're not exactly easing you in. How he fought, I expected. He's a spoiler. Very hard to deal with. A lot of guys can't deal with that style. That style is no problem for me. Queeley in the white. Kabulu in the black. Kick out the gate by Queeley and chases it with a head kick. And now Kabulu's going to look for the takedown. This is where Kabulu is very strong and dominant. Kick from Queeley. Really is scoring with those leg kicks. Another one from Queeley. That hurts. Another and one from Queeley. Very now creative Queeley. by Peter Queeley. He's got the body triangle locked up. I thought Peter would have the answer to his kind of grinding style. I, I was messing around him standing up, having success, took him down. I felt a huge advantage when I, when I took him down grappling. We would have liked him to finish, maybe a bit more exciting for the fans, um, but uh, it was a solid win. Peter, the showstopper, Queeley! If he ever uh, went this week, Everyone was saying to me, oh, Francois Capullo, he's not human, he's this, he's that. I made him look human tonight. An impressive performance from the showstopper, putting an end to the Frenchman's winning run. But a more dangerous opponent is waiting in the shadows for the man from Dublin. Martin van Staden is one of the most devastating finishers in this organization. Martin van Staden came into the EFC with a massive reputation and lived up to that reputation in devastating fashion, demolishing all who stood in his way. However, van Staden's career was about to take a turn for the worse as his initial title shot at EFC 19 was taken away from him due to his opponent's injury. Martin was supposed to face the then welterweight champion Michiel Opperman. Michiel got injured and Adam Speechley stepped up as a last minute replacement. Ladies and gentlemen, this main card bout is three rounds in the EFC welterweight division. Sardin has that power. Oh, catch him, but Sardin might have dropped Speechley. Speechley holds on to a leg, desperately holds on to a leg, but Sardin is carrying on. Landing shot, Speechley has still got a hold of that leg. Landing some shots now as Adam Speechley towards the end of his first round. Those elbows Big working elbows finding, away. Finding their target. But Stardin in a world of trouble towards the end of round one. Speechley will be happy. Oh, but Stardin uses that right to the body. We saw him use that with great success against Janice Acosta. Speechley now unloading on Fitz Stardin. But Stardin in a bit of trouble here. This is Speechley's guard. Speechley. And he does. He does sweep him, does Michi now. He's on top of two minutes, 20 seconds to go in this third round. Not good for Van Staden. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Adam the Prodigy Speechley. A tough loss for Van Staden, but unfortunately, the worst was yet to come. This man is a mixed martial artist. He's fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Henry Hercules Von Eben. Good right hand by Van 
this one found its mark. The knockout power has been started, but so does Fadipe. Fadipe is also landing, make no mistake about it. Oh, Big oh, shot landed by Fadipe. Fadipe is in trouble. This is not good for what started. Holding onto that ankle. Oh, trying to get the top position though. Oh, oh I can't go. Fadipe has beaten the Punisher. What started? Submitted by Hercules. And you can actually hear Fasada screaming before he tapped out. But Dipe getting his hand raised and success at EFC 23. It was a horrific knee injury for Martin van Staden. I think many fans at home thought this is the last time we're going to see the Punisher. Two losses and an almost career-ending injury, van Staden knew changes had to be made. Going back to where it all started, I realized everything has changed. The nightclub where I was discovered has closed and has moved on. My old gym, it was no longer there. The place where I learned so much, gone. But change is good. I've changed. I'm no longer the same person I was back then. It's sometimes worthwhile going back to the past because it's there that you realize who you've become. The road from the injury was a long and hard road, you know. I was tested mentally, but not for one second did I think that I wouldn't come back from it, you know. I just pushed through. It actually gave me a new outlook on, on my career and where I wanted to go. And uh, you could say this is uh, the second chapter in my life and uh, I'm really looking forward to this journey. It was incredible to be in that Durban crowd when Martin walked out. The noise was deafening. It's always great to see an athlete return from such a horrific injury. And I personally thought that Jeremy Smith was too big a fight for Martin at the time. But man, did he prove me wrong. Not gonna play Jeremy Smith's game. Kicked Leonard that time. He's been trying the whole night to land that he got it right. You can see that. Done some damage to the nose. And again, a Smith. Straight with that front kick again. Hits Smith on the nose. I said I was going to knock him out in the first round when I was down in Durban and, uh, you know, I, I tried to deliver and, and it just all came together, you know. We were very excited for him to get the knockout because he kept on telling us that's what he wanted. Get to the kick. Oh, Jeremy Smith is knocked out. He's knocked out. Oh, he's knocked out. Oh, he's knocked My goodness. Knocked out Pitbull. Absolutely ridiculous performance by Martin from The Stardust. Punisher unleashed a barrage of punches. Too hot to handle for Pitbull. My goodness, he was on tonight, Pierce. So hungry and so desperate to please his fans. Shot after shot after shot in that first round. We spoke of the toughness of Jeremy Smith, but Van Staden came at him with absolutely everything tonight. A lot of people thought that Jeremy was a too big opponent, too strong. Um, won't be able to stop him. Um, you know, I just had self-belief and I knew that I could be done and I did it. Martin did his job at the end of the day and he is very headstrong and mentally uh, it was a big factor for him. You know, he overcome it and I'm proud of him for overcoming it. Martin yet again finds himself one step away from that elusive title shot. Can he prove that he is the best in the division? I was more focused on the belt, then Adam, the problem in front of me, and it ended up costing me the fight. So, yes, my eyes are firmly set on that belt, but only after this fight. Two of the world's most dangerous welterweights clash as the hard-hitting Martin the Punisher von Staden collides with the dangerous Irishman, Peter Showstopper Queeley. The journey to the welterweight title starts here.
We've got such contrasting styles in this specific fight. On one hand, you've got Martin van Staden, who's an aggressive fighter with serious KO power. And then you've got Peter Queeley, a guy with an amazing ground game and really good movement. This is a fight about power versus precision. Martin van Staden is one of the most dangerous men in the division with incredible knockout power. Van Staden smashed his way through Jeremy Smith and now is but one step away from that elusive title shot and this time nothing will stand in his way you know there's very few in, 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 in the welterweight division that can actually stand and trade with me punch for punch um, I don't think Queeley's that guy. Martin hits like a truck um, I don't feel Queeley has uh, near as much power as Martin. I don't think his stand-up is that great I think it's flashy but there's nothing to it you know all that show means nothing. Hailing from Dublin, Ireland, Peter Queeley quickly proved why he is a force to be reckoned with when he easily dispatched Francois Cabulu at EFC 35. And now the confident Irishman will look to deal with his opponent and march on toward the title. I think a lot of people forget just how tough Francois Cabulu really is. He was on an amazing win streak and Peter stopped him quite easily. Peter Queeley is a very dangerous opponent. It's a strange feeling being in front of someone who's much, much better than you. And that's what he's gonna feel. It's gonna be a very odd sensation when I step in front of him and he sees my movement, feels what I'm about. Anything that Martin brings to the table, Peter has felt a thousand times in the gym. The problem for Martin is, he's never even sparred someone with Peter's ability. And when he gets in there to fight him, and Peter goes full force, it's gonna be devastating. Will the Punisher once again smash his way to victory and fulfill his destiny? Or will the showstopper prove that the Irish fighting spirit is unmatched and claim the big W? It's Martin Van Staten versus Peter Queeley. I'm going to look to finish, you know. I always come to try and knock my opponents out or try and finish as devastating fashion as possible. So just the normal, you know, I just come out and fight. Right now, I'm way more important fight than a title fight. Uh, the opponent to me is much more highly heavily skilled um, so we're treating this fight as a title fight more than a contendership. Martin's style is a little bit more open, a little bit more looking for the finish and that when you open up like that you also give opportunities for counters and I believe Peter will expose that, put him away in spectacular fashion. He's not going to lay a hand on me. Jeremy Smith is like a heavy bag of eyeballs. He he's so slow, you know what I mean? I'm not surprised to knock him out. If you stand in front of someone like that, of course you're gonna get knocked out. I'm too, I'm too smooth, too fast. He's in for a bad night. From the busy streets of Johannesburg to the golden beaches of Durban, a homecoming for one, a journey across the ocean for another. EFC 38. The dominant featherweight champion Boyd Allen will once again face off against Durban favorite Wesley Hawkey. Will Allen once again reign supreme or will the young assassin get his revenge and stand tall as the new champion? Plus, the power punching of Martin Van Staden will go up against the fluid movement of Peter Queeley. A shot at the welterweight title awaits the victor. EFC 38, Saturday the 4th of April, Durban ICC. Tickets and broadcast information at efcworldwide.com.